Hello everyone. My name is Sanel Mbili from Washugela Training Center uh, under the Department of Agriculture. Uh, I'm just going to briefly be telling you about the courses that we do under our department, which is the Agricultural Department. Right, we have a number of courses that we do. We have different courses. We have learnerships and also skills program that we do. Right, I'm just going to focus more on the skills program. Skills program are done on the farm. This is what I call the most effective way of training because we don't disturb the farmer or we don't disturb the farmer while the farmer is working in the field. So for example, a farmer will request a course on how to kill weeds or how to control weeds. Then we will come to him when the farmer is busy controlling weeds, then we assist them and show them how to control weeds properly. So in this way, uh, the farmer doesn't take their workers out of the field or out of work uh, to training somewhere else. So we actually assist them in doing uh, the job. Right. So we have a number of courses that we do, but uh, today I'm just going to show you an example of the, some of the courses that we do. Right. Because we cover uh, from the land preparation from the beginning at the land preparation uh, up until the harvesting. As you see my background here, the farmer here is busy doing the, the harvesting. Right. So I'm just going to show you an example on, on how to control weeds. So that's some of the causes that we do. So in this course on how to control weeds, we control weeds using the knapsack sprayer. Ne? So in this course, we'll cover on the methods of controlling weeds. We'll also cover the identification of weeds. We'll also cover the calibration. We'll also cover how to use this knapsack sprayer. Ne? So I'm just going to briefly take you through uh, this course and what it entails. Right, for you to be able to control your weeds or for you to be able to kill your weeds, uh, we usually recommend that you use a knapsack sprayer. So this one here is your, is your knapsack sprayer. No? So it's a 20 litre. So there's also a 15 litre. There's also an electric one which pumps itself. So but we're still using uh, this one, which is the 20 litre, and which, which is a, a manual. Right, so when we're doing this course, we'll take you through on how to utilize this knapsack sprayer and also how to do the calibration and the calculations. Because you'll find out that they will give you a recommendation, say maybe glyphosate. They say use glyphosate, a chemical or a herbicide to control your weeds. Then they'll tell you, for example, use maybe three liters of that chemical in one hectare. So we guide you and show you how to do that calculation in order for you to know and understand that in maybe those three liters that is recommended for a liter, uh, for a hectare, I mean. So how much of a chemical are you going to put in a 20 liter knapsack sprayer? Or how much of a chemical are you going to put in a 15 liter uh, knapsack sprayer? Ne? Because they give you a recommendation which says just put or just apply these three liters of herbicide in one hectare. Then you'll have to do that calculation your own and see how much you need to put in one knapsack. And also, um, how many knapsacks are we going to apply in that field? And also you'll have to do a calculation uh, because they measure it in one hectare. Then if your field have maybe 150 hectares, then you'll have to do calculation and see in 150 hectares, how much of a chemical should I buy or should I get in order for me to be able to cover all these 150 hectares of my field that I want to spray. So we cover all that. So for calibration, for you to be able to do a calibration, you will need a measuring tape. Yeah? You will need a measuring tape which will use to measure the distance. Yeah? Then you will also need a measuring jack, which is about um, a litre or five litres. Ne? So you'll need this measuring jack, which is about five litres. Then you may also need this one, this speaker, which is about 250 mils, if you are calibrating or if you are want to put the chemical here and uh, put this in your knapsack sprayer. Right, then after that, 
in this course we'll show you what exactly do you do when you're using these tools in order for you to be able to do your calibration. We we'll take you through all the process. In this video, I'm not going to show you because I want you to go and uh, apply for the course and come and do it. Right. So before uh, you can uh, use the snapsack sprayer, you need to make sure that you told your workers or your workers know about the safety of handling chemicals. It's very important. Uh, chemicals are very toxic and they are very dangerous. So you need to make sure that before they start handling their chemicals, you've also done a course which is chemical handling. You understand? So it's also part of our course or also part of the courses that we do. So we're very concerned about the safety. You need to make sure that your workers are safe when they are working with chemicals because they're working with these chemicals like every year. So they need to make sure that they are safe. Before you can start applying those chemicals and use the, this knapsack, you need to make sure that your workers or your people who will be using the knapsack sprayer, they understand the safety and the dangers of working with the chemicals. So there is also a course that is called the chemical handling. You understand where we show them how to store chemicals, how to use chemicals, what to use or what do you need before you can start using the chemicals. So they also need to know about that and understand it. Chemicals are very toxic and they are very dangerous. So you need to make sure that they are safe while working uh, with those chemicals. So for you to be able to start working with this knapsack sprayer, you will need full PPEs, understand? So that's why I'm wearing uh, this coat here or this overall because uh, I want to show you because you need to make sure that you are fully covered from the chemical just in case it splits over you yeah? so we need to make sure that you cover do your overall like this or raincoats like that then you also put this mask here And you put your mask properly. Then, then obviously you will have your your bottles. Then you will have your gloves. Let's use them. Right. So you also need to make sure that your workers they wear these these PPEs because some of them will tell you that it's so hot to wear these PPEs. But you need to make sure that you instruct them all the time to wear these PPEs. So in this course, we cover all that and make sure that we make you understand the types of weed that you should use when you're applying a certain herbicide and how to choose a herbicide to use and which combination to use of chemicals in a certain field. So we cover all that in this knapsack sprayer course.